On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Andrew Bancroft, Jelly Donut himself. He's a tasty, delicious treat, and he's here for the holidays on our Christmas Spectacular. We're also joined by Chad Johnson, some special guests. We tell the nativity story, and a package is delivered, the likes of which you won't believe and your mom's gonna cry about. It's all coming up on this, the Christmas special of NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 158, recorded on December 21st, 2012. Knocking on Virgin's door. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Pond5, the world's stock media marketplace. If you're a media maker looking for video, photos, illustrations, music, sound effects, after effects templates, or 3D models, check out Pond5. And for an exclusive 50 free stock media files, go to pond5.com slash NSFW. Oh, what a great way to start off this episode. We have special guests. Go ahead, introduce yourselves. Who? Ho, ho. I am Santa, and she's an elf. No! <laughs> no, I'm not an elf. Let me, let me ask you some questions. Um, you guys are here because of uh, union labor concerns. Uh, what does that mean? Well, I, under- I understand there's labor disputes between, between what's that s- mean? Santa Claus and the elves. Santa Well, I'm, I'm sure everyone wants to know what the spirit of Christmas means to you. Billy fat. I eat all those cookies, just cookies, because I'm all fat. <laughs> okay. I love you, Billy fat. Yes, I am Billy fat. Santa Claus. Okay, well, uh, look, we don't have much time. Is there a special message you wanted what to... What is that? What is, what, what's that mean? I mean, we don't have much time because we only have a little bit of time to dedicate to this this bit. So is there something you guys wanted to say? I want more time. Okay, that's from <laughs> Snowers. And Santa? Merry Christmas! And to all, Merry Christmas! <laughs> How you say it, Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I want more time. Hey! I want to be in it. The new show full of wind, the new sauce for the webernets. You know the one. The show that's nominally safe for works. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Brian Brushwood. Joined, as always, by the inimitable co-host live in studio from beautiful Petaluma, California. It's none other than JRY. What's going on, Justin Robert Young? Holy poop! Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a hell of a show here, Brian. We got a star-studded, jam-packed Christmas spectacular here on the NSFW show. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna have special guests the entire episode, but let me introduce a man who will be here with us the entire time. Ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna perform a song for us, uh, an original one here at the end. Andrew Bancroft, Hi, Jelly's how Donut are... himself. How you doing, sir? I'm wonderful, how you doing? Happy holidays, everybody. Yeah. Dude. Well, I'll tell you what, Brian, uh, uh, we got so much to whoa, do. Whoa, 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 hold on, whoa, whoa. You just wanna jump in and be like, look at me, I'm in Petaluma. I've got all the specialist guests there ever be. I got a special yeah. guest too, bro. What? Yeah, I Ooh. mean, were we gonna bring them in as yeah. they go along throughout the uh, the thing? I'm, I'm just you, saying, listen, I got, I got, no, listen, just say you here. have a professional who sings at concerts all the time, and Brian has a guy who uh, works in a in a company that's not on camera that often. <laughs> Um, that has red hair. That's right. That's right. Hair's beautiful. Of course, Very friend of the show, sure. OMG, uh, Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco himself joining us. Oh, thanks. All right, yeah. what do we have to today, Justin Robert Young? Uh, well, listen, uh, we are going to do every year we've told a story, a Christmas story, oh. here on the Christmas episode of NSFW Show. And uh, there have been some circumstances uh, around the show that made it very clear what story we were going to tell. And that is, of course... The reason for the season, Brian, 
The nativity story. Uh, oh, dude. Are you, are now, okay, now, uh, this is, we have a reputation for hijinks and shenanigans and maybe a little bit of saucy disrespect from time to time. Are you telling me that there's any chance that we could tell one of the most beloved stories in all of Christendom without totally losing our friendship with Padre SJ of the Jesuit priests? Uh, no. Number one, uh, him. And his pal, P-O-P-E, I want to know where my money be. I'm the Pope. Uh, will be, well, I guarantee they're going to be A-OK. Because I downloaded this right off the internet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All it's right, the man. original. We also, so also yep. coming up, we got special guest appearances. We got music performances coming up. And, of course, we've got uh, the unwrapping of gifts. Because just seconds ago, like, like uh, literally seconds before we went live, right here, FedEx box, live via chat realm to yours truly, we got to show the, uh, do an unboxing live on the air. That's yes. A nice box. Absolutely. Box. That's a big fat box. All right. <laughs> well, you want to know what? Let's uh, let's get into things now. Unless uh, do you want to do the the ad read now, or do you want to get it, it out of the way time? right up top, man? Ladies and gentlemen, the NSFW Christmas Spectacular is brought to you by Pond Five. Never right. heard of them. Uh, well, Pond Five, Brian. I'll tell you what. I, it's really sad that you haven't heard of them because they've been on the show several times, and it really speaks to your short-term memory. Tell us uh, a problem. Justin. It's a problem. Here's the deal. You want to do a project, all right? And and you don't want to just make it a hurricane journey last-minute occasion where you just get a bunch of people. No, you want to be professional. Yeah, time. totally. Yes. That'll never work. Here's you do. You can make things look professional by going to Pond Five. They got all sorts of uh, media there: audio, video, vector graphics. Pretty much everything you need to make your project look the bomb. And by the bomb, I mean that right there. What just happened there? That's what's going to happen. It's blowing up twice. I don't yeah, even know and how then it works. sucked in on itself in a vacuum. Nah. And That's what's going to happen. To they do, like, friend. literally. I'm pretty sure I could look up. I'm going to look up uh, the bomb. I'm typing in the in there. And oh, then look at this. Oh. Just like that. Boom. There's the bomb. Falling and, and, and blowing up on everything. Now you're on a list for Homeland Security. And there's absolutely. that. Absolutely. And look at that. Look, you're seeing a bunch of uh, uh, compounds blow up on a, on a black and white thing. That's for your holiday special. There, right look there. at that. There's a bomb squad sending in a bomb disarming <laughs> I'm robot. I'm sure this is what this company wants to be associated with. No, it's the bomb with. robot. Right, 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 yeah. Right. Look, there's the aftermath. The bomb robot. Yeah. There's Uncle aftermath of a bomb. bomb Joel. <laughs> Here's the thing, folks. You want to go ahead and just get a look, just just uh, just get a little taste, a little taste of uh, a Pond Five. What they got going on? Mm. They got 50 free stock media files at pond5.com/nsfw. People have been making uh, uh, videos with these the entire time uh, we've been uh, advertising for Pond Five. They've been doing this. You only have a few more days to do it because we're at the end of December. Get on over there right now, pond5.com/nsfw, and we thank them for sponsoring the NSFW Christmas extravaganza. Absolutely. Now let's just dive headfirst into this thing. We got a lot of roles to play. I guess if we're doing the nativity scene, I guess I guess God would be a character. Who else we got? Well, listen, you want to know what? We'll have everybody, we'll have everything kind of unfold, but uh, I do know that Andrew Bancroft will be serving as our narrator. True. Uh, and and uh, Brian, you, uh, of course, you can't have a nativity story. It all centers around Mary and Joseph. You are going to be Joseph. We do need a Mary, though. Where are we going to find a Mary? Uh, you know what? Uh, she can't appear. Where in San Francisco are we going to find a Mary? No, you can't. There are no Not a very Marys popular name. In, in San Francisco. However, there is one in this very house. She's called Invisible uh, in, in, Invisible Virgin. Are you there, Invisible Virgin? That's me. <laughs> Body of the Invisible, the Invisible Virgin. Virgin every night. I Woo, think it might man, be I am glad. I was afraid that was going to be me for a little bit. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> Woo. Like we got big virgin. weight off Thank my shoulders. Body the Invisible Virgin will be playing the part of Mary. I'll be Joseph. And how does our story begin, Justin Robert Young? Uh, well, narrator, why don't you take it away? I will take it away. Thank you, Justin. Well, once upon a time in the Middle East, there was a couple by the name of Mary and Joseph. And things were really cool. I mean, Mary and Joseph, they were like really nice couple. Extremely nice. The kind of couple you invite to a dinner party. And then after they left, you both just look at your significant other and you're like, wow, there's no way we're that impressive. Then you feel bad about yourself and you kind of resent them. But then you think a little bit more and you realize this is more an us problem than a them problem. <laughs> anyway, things were totally awesome. Right, Mary and Joseph? Oh my gosh. Oh, Mary, uh -huh. Mary, you know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about how awesome everything is. Oh, 
We are so blessed. It's, it's <laughs> it really oh, is. No. Like I got goats. Got yeah. some got oh, some figs. Oh. Yeah. I got uh uh. I mentioned the goats, right? Oh yes, you've mentioned the goats before. But it's like again. it's like those are a status symbol here in um. Yeah. Where, where are we again? Uh, <laughs> near, Jer- <laughs> near Jersey. Near Jersey. Here near Jersey. <laughs> it's so awesome to have a goat this sweet, and oh, uh, yeah. everything's great. Now life wasn't actually that easy for old Jomar, <laughs> because they were about to be visited by a real important guy, the big man. Who, who could this be? Oh my God! Hey, uh, hey, Mary. Mary. Yes. Yeah, it's God. How's it? Hey, <laughs> everything's awesome. You know, uh, Joseph keeps telling me about this goat, and you know, so it's yeah. great. Yeah, he's got good goats. Good goats. Uh, you know, I hate to say this. This goat might make Joe kind of mad. Believe me, I know mad. I'm an angry God, right? <laughs> oh, um, oh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. I'm still pissed about the whole Seleucid thing a couple centuries back. I mean, thank me for olive oil. Anyway, I ain't got eight days and nights to tell you this, so let me get to the point, all right? <laughs> I'm going to play fast and loose with some stuff I told Isaiah a little while back. Yeah, uh, yeah. W- wait, wait. I'm going to have you give birth to my son, Dig. Uh... <laughs> I don't even know how that works. Uh, that's pretty presumptive, right? Right. Yeah. Um, Just tell Joe to be cool. Kid's going to have it rough enough as it is later on. Boom, you're pregnant. What? Wait. <laughs> what? what? Excuse me? My mom Sorry, didn't tell guys, me how this that's works. That's something God can do. <laughs> Preggers. And they didn't even get to do the fun part. It's good to be the king. Just, so just a minute. Mary realizes she's pregnant. <laughs> and uh, guess what? She's going to tell her husband the great news. <laughs> Oh, my God, is it great being JoJo the Wise, JoJo the Great, JoJo with the sweet, sweet goat action. They never called him that. Do I ever love being Joseph right about now? (laughs) Oh, Oh, hey. Hey, sweetheart, what's going on? Hey. What's up? Everything's cool. There's just this little thing I got to tell you about. Uh, That's weird. You just walk up. You don't say hi. Would you like a fig or a date? Or uh, a goat. You know, funny thing about dates, you usually have them before God impregnates you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It sounded an awful lot like you just said. You usually well, would wait. have a date before God impregnates you. Wait, somebody was supposed to give you a memo at some point. Uh, um, blur, blur, blur. I'm looking yeah. at my papyrus. There's nothing on here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, it's a little awkward. <laughs> So I'm not really sure how this happened, but I am pregnant with God's son. This is because I tried to touch your butt, wasn't it? I knew. I, I know, know we were we were betrothed, and I knew if I touched your butt, you'd get pregnant. It's my kid. It's my kid because I touched your butt. Mm, I I don't know. I'll have to ask my mom about that. <laughs> Biology. <laughs> We didn't really talk about these things. No, no, no. When you say pregnant, what does that mean? Pregnant. That means means apparently there's like a little baby growing in me. Okay. And and so, wait, you're going to tell me like a mysterious voice in the middle of the night said, boom, you's pregnant. That's exactly it. I remember also a mysterious voice saying, here, here's some wine. Do this and remember me. And then here I'm, that's, I don't know, That's getting the other... future. Hold oh, on. wait, the, wait. The, the force <laughs> shows you many visions from the past, <laughs> from the future, from the present, <laughs> from what might be. Uh, but the important thing is, look, man, I support you and my goat supports you. Okay. Uh, me, that's great. Me and Goaty McGee, I've named him. I forgot to mention Goaty <laughs> McGee and me uh, love you. Question mark and uh, I'm really just gonna trust that that's definitely God's baby in your belly. Okay, thanks. You know, good I call. Love you, okay, Jojo. guys. At this point, I think we're just gonna skip ahead a little bit because uh, you know, for about nine months, nothing really, really happens. All right. Uh, uh, this is- actually, hold on, Mr. Narrator. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, um, uh, okay. As Joseph, I can verify that uh, I won a number of card games during that time. There were some yeah. very challenging. Uh, sports matches of very variety, various varieties that I watched. Um, I I think Mary threw up a few times. It's hard for me to remember. I got a lot of dirty looks at the well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you did at the yeah. well. Boy, you were the talk of the uh, well. Like I, I said, not very much happened over those nine months, uh, <laughs> except. 
There was this one bitch down the block that kept electing herself the CEO of All Up in Mary's Womb Incorporated LLC. <laughs> Jesus, she couldn't stop blabbing all over the block about who the baby belonged to as if she was squatting with night vision goggles at night in Joseph's closet, taking notes on the comings and goings of the women's heavenly gates. Preach! Actually, forget that I said closet there because that was her other theory, that Joseph was actually gay and that this whole Jesus baby thing was a, a ploy for health insurance. Like, that makes any sense. Get a life, Elsie. <laughs> so, so nine months later, they're looking to drop this kid, and... Oh, my gosh. Boy, is it a tough time to have to report in for the census. Which, by the way, for the record, very inefficient way to have a census is to make us walk physically all the way over to uh, wherever it is we're taking this census. Uh Oh, this is your family's fault? We're having to travel on a well, donkey? Okay, well, it's ah. not my fault that you're pregnant. How about that? It's a little passive okay, aggressive in your Okay, you're going to throw this faces. in my face. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to start this. Uh, listen, uh, okay, I'm sorry. You've got the son of God in your belly, so there's that. <laughs> listen, uh, tell you what, why don't we just go to a hotel, take it easy. Here we are in Bethlehem, question mark. Mm -hmm. Getting odds? Yes, we're in Bethlehem. Yes. The locals say we're definitely in Bethlehem. So I think this is where we should stay the night. I'm uh, from New Jersey. Uh, I'll tell you what. I, I think there's a there's an inn here. Why don't we Why don't we see about getting a room? Hey, uh, oh, uh, uh, welcome to the Bethlehem Inn. I'll give it to you guys just a second. Hey, hey John, John, I'm yeah, right here. No, hey, I'm doing business. Okay, okay. I, I have my, a, wife, my wife. I have a pregnant. business to it run. Would, it would be here. great. Okay, hey John, my wife. The people oh, in room twelve, they're being really weird. <laughs> they asked for for a refrigerator. You know what that is? <laughs> this is great. This is great. This, this is, is weird. Great. This is hey, you hey, got a problem? Listen. Remember, I'm, I'm still dealing with this okay, over here. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, by all means. I don't know. They're, they claim they're from the future. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Send them a goat, John, and we'll just we'll just be done with it. Okay. Uh, sorry. What's, what's your name, sir? What's Dude, this is great. This is You got a problem because you got these people in room 12, you said, who claim to be from the future. We want a room. Why don't you kick these guys out of room 12? Let me and my... Did I mention my wife is pregnant? Maybe son of God? Whoa! She is pregnant. Yeah, she's very... Whoa, she's fit to mess. bust. Whoa, dude. She's fit to bust. Man, you must have just... Ran. Uh, Good job on you, man. Somebody did something. Was, what, uh, it's what do you a, mean? Some... Huh? Uh, you know what? This is not relevant. Uh, the, no, the no, no. Like, really? What What do you mean? Uh, I, I'll, I, look, my wife is pregnant. I think With? that's the bulk of the story. Are you sure? Uh, you don't want to? Well, she, she's definitely full of something. Man, uh, <laughs> that was you, right? That You did it. Uh, sure. Let's just say it was me. You that sure sounds... you don't want to, you know, I don't know, take the story in a way that I could run with it in a different direction? Okay, fine. <laughs> it's the son of God. <laughs> God? <laughs> yes, God. Jehovah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow, the sun god uh, uh, no. knocked up your not the the sun god did not. That's a different god what? over in Greece. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm well, talking my, about the sun of God. My, There's only my one. pagan religion. I okay, don't, this is. Are this you is, sure? I told you. Oh, so oh, you must be one of those. There was a weird one. So this is Ares, the sun, the, the, no, the see, god I, of I knew the this goddess. would be a problem. It's always no. this way with the freaking <laughs> religions. Okay, look. You there's sure? a bunch of religions out there. Uh, all those are dumb religions. Ours is the right religion. Oh. Also, uh, God you, knocked up my wife. Are you sure it wasn't the Mayan god? No. That'd be because, because the people in room 12 were telling me about <laughs> this date in the future. This, yes, they yeah. love dates. That, it's the it's weird. It's, it seems love like... Dates. I, I bet in around 2012 oh years. My okay, this listen. Will be really right. do, do you hear Please, that? Oh my I've, gosh! I've been on a donkey Whoa. all Yikes, day. You are pregnant, man. Yeah, that's, oh. that's what I'm saying. So, Holy yes. mackerel. I'm glad we're all on the same well, page. Okay, cool. Room 12. Yeah. Kick out no, the future. No, I don't. I don't have any any room. I'm I'm sorry. It sounded like you hate the people. No, in room 12. sorry. L the, like, listen. I mean, like you would think that I would just be able to like put you in my office, but no room. Okay, but I'm looking at your office. There's a couch yeah, right there. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, it's I just... promise my water won't break. Okay, can oh we just gosh. get a room? Oh, that I would mean... be totally. Listen, gross. if that happened, like I, I freak out at the, at the blood. 
I mean, well, there's like not I blood. Might pass out. They don't say blood break. I they might. say water break. <laughs> this, this is your water. But break. if the water breaks, the blood comes later. No, that's listen. I've, I've seen have this ever, happen. Have you ever watched an animal it, give it birth? It breaks one night, and five <laughs> minutes later, it's pregnant. Like just babies. Okay, everywhere. listen. I'm about ready to <laughs> listen. They didn't teach me biology. I'm not from room twelve. I don't have schools now. Okay, listen. Uh, listen. Okay, you know what I can do for you? Yes. Because you are. You seem like a good person. Go on. I got um this extra space. Yes. A barn. Uh, I'm sorry. It sounded like you said a barn. Yeah, it's great. I keep cows I, wait, there. Wait, hold on, hold on. Just, just for the record, you're cool with keeping weirdos who Listen. claim to be from the future in room 12, but you're going to put my wife next to cow sh- sh- stuff. Sh- yeah. Wow, was that close. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, in fact, if, if you listen in the distance, you can almost hear the sound of something. Oh yeah, it's, look at that! What what is that sound? I actually, I think that's coming from the barn. No. <laughs> so you, okay. all right, all right, you all like right. that music? <laughs> all right. Uh, you know what? Fine. We're we'll we'll go to the we'll go to the barn and listen. Uh, it's really nice. Um, you can sleep on the hay and screw you very much. Okay, yeah, and that'll be thirty dollars. Uh, I yeah, uh, my barn. I own it. I have that sounds a like goat. Milt Hill's, Milt Hill's Ooh. Six. Okay. Maybe we'll a take date. this goat. Hey, uh, John, can you take this goat to room 12? Maybe they'll be happy. Okay. Awesome. Done. Bye. All right. Well, uh, somebody better Google Maps that innkeeper uh, the directions to Poopsville because his Yelp rating is going to need it. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> there was a bright star shining in the sky. It was kind of like the Red Comet in the second game, uh, second book of Game of Thrones. And uh, whatever happened with that, anyways, did that ever pay off? Did I miss it? I don't know. It's all set up. But I'll also tell you that Mary and Joseph got three visitors, and let me tell you something. They were the singing type. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we've traveled afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star Eight equals 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 D. Eight equals 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 D. Three mighty bone earth kings are we. Eight equals 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 D. May all followers of the newborn king be free and get laid. It is I. Laurel Stein, I've emerged from my hot tub bearing to the newborn king this bottle of port and two blunts for which I've rolled poorly. Second king, what have you brought to the newborn babe? It is I, Bostin, in this my last effort. Before I die, I have brought to the new king the gift of mail around, despite the fact that it's not a sponsor. Merry Christmas, Tom. I will live a life without spam in a way that I could never provide. I love you, Baustani. I know. Please, third king, what have you brought to the newborn? Hey, mister. I brought the newborn king a little man. Well. I'm very glad to hear that, you disgusting creature. I thought you would bring some sort of bathtub amphetamine that had to be anally inserted. Ah, well, that's the thing. It is that. I just call it myrrh, because that's the sound you make when you take it. Mr. Myrrh. Holy crap. Meanwhile, Mary is freaking the freak out because, you know, she's about to give birth to a million dollar baby in the period equivalent of an alley behind a condemned Payless shoe. Uh, it's okay because just as she's about to melt, she is visited by an angel. Oh, here she is. What's up? Mary! Mary! Oh, no. It, oh, it appears that the an angel messenger you switched over. Angel. <clears throat> Hold on. She's not a mute angel. She's an angel who's going to flutter her wings patiently while the host of the show goes ahead and switches over to a version we can hear. Hey, angel, are you there? Hello? <laughs> hello? Can you hear me? I'm t- speaking from heaven. Oh, it hello? is I, an angel messenger sent from the side of our Lord God. Can you hear me, Mary? 
It's yes. can you hear me there? It's me, Angel. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> this is hello. Hi. Hello. Mary, Mary, I come with good tidings. I come with good tidings. Your sacrifice, all the all the puking and the sickness and the back pain has not been in vain. It has not been in vain. I just wanted you to know that you deliver onto the world the King of Kings. Yay. <laughs> Basically, he's like he's like a tiny version of God. He's like a little God peanut. Do you remember? Do you ever watch Muppet Babies? The show Muppet Babies. <laughs> yes. He's kind of like that, but with God. Okay. Okay. I'll like a trust you on this. Your belly. Because I'm in big pain right now. Oh, he's 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 tiny. He's just a tiny little tiny little wee mm. wee peanut of a god. But you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And also, I think your husband is having weird relationships with goats. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you should know. Well, no. I just I just I just showed up here. Uh, were you guys talking about Goaty McGoat? Because he's awesome. <laughs> And lo, <laughs> away in a manger, the king of kings was born. Actually, oh, okay, I'm, 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 uh, I'm the innkeeper and I'm back and oh my god, blood! Oh, god. <laughs> Wait a minute. He died. Oh, what, 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 is, what is there? Oh, it's what is it? A it, Christmas it actually, miracle. It actually looks like a girl, though. Uh, it might yeah. not actually be the true nativity story. <laughs> anyway, what is that baby's name, pray uh, tell? Uh, wait, the baby you're looking at right now? Yes. This this baby yeah. right here? That baby, yeah. You you want to know the baby's name? I only see one baby. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just saying that it's uh, Calliope. Well, this is the nativity story. It's not Jesus. So no. what's his name? Uh, oh, this is, this is Calliope. 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 All yeah. right. Beautiful name for a... Messiah. So what? All right, Brushwood would be the last name, but what? what what's the middle name, Brian? Oh, Calliope. no, it's it's Calliope Daphne Brushwood. Calliope Daphne Brushwood. How's that spelled, oh, Brian? Baby. It's it's called uh, it's spelled uh, Calliope D A F N A Y, Brushwood. No, what? Yeah. <laughs> Baby's middle name Daphne. <laughs> we totally did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Is that why it was covered on the birth certificate? Yes. It's, it's Calliope Daphne Brushwood. We are. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I give that a Daphne. Yay! <laughs> Okay, Ow. so the whole the whole thing was like like body. Oh, wait, and hold I, on, wait like, a minute, wait a minute, Brian. Oh. We'll, we'll get to it. Let, let's just let's just end end the sure. nativity story. Here we go. So yes, that wasn't Jesus, but <laughs> it was a nativity story. Although it was not an immaculate conception, it was a regular ass conception where it was boning. <laughs> it was on. not an ass conception. But, I like. <laughs> On the upside, <laughs> someone named their kid after a character for a short-lived and little-watched video game podcast. That's something, right? That certainly is. Hey. I just found $20. <laughs> and scene! Yeah! Yay! Oh that was God. amazing. Uh, okay, so in all seriousness, the whole the whole thing was Bonnie and I wanted very, very much for uh, for our new daughter. And, and this was a weird pregnancy for us to have because uh, it happened after... Uh, you know, after NSFW, after Chat Realm had existed, and of course, you know, the Dragon Con performances were such a big part of our lives. Uh, and on top of everything, you know, we launched that scam stuff store, and and so many people uh, bought stuff that it made it possible for me to stay home. Like in some weird way, I wanted to name the Chat Realm as the godparents of this kid. And uh, uh, if you go back on my tweet stream, you'll notice there was a time I was asking about the legality of putting symbols in kids' names because I full-on wanted the middle name to be uh, greater than less than or less than greater than for the Diamond Club symbol. But Bonnie was just like, uh, was like, uh, oh, dude, I can't, you know, we can't do that. It's like, it's like, you know, giving her a tattoo at birth. And then uh, and we, we fussed back and forth. We always liked the name Daphne. And in fact, we thought about Daphne being her first name, but uh, but once we fell in love with Calliope, we decided that it should be Calliope Brushwood, and we wanted Daphne to be the middle name, and we figured, screw it, let's give her a nutty spelling for Daphne so we could give a giant 
tip of the hat and a, in a heartfelt thanks to what has been a very special year to us to let the, the, the fine denizens of Chat Realm know that they mean the world to us. Right, Bon? That is so true. We, we love you guys, and it's been really fun to see, uh, see this internet family. <laughs> And so anyway, she's just she's just as much your kid as she is ours, by which I mean she's legally ours. <laughs> Congratulations, you're legally responsible, Veronica. Yeah, yeah. It's, kind of like, diapers. it's kind of like those training dogs. <laughs> yes. Except for the college tuition part. That part's yours. Yes, that's entirely yeah. you. You guys are on the hook financially. We're going to do the day-to-day -day raising, all that business. Uh, but, uh, dude, I, okay. I, and sorry to sort of steamroll you out of nowhere with this. No, I was like, it took me a second. Like, I kind of heard it, and then I was like, wait, did he just say what I think he said? <laughs> <laughs> that That's is awesome. amazing. Uh, well, look, uh, in all seriousness, um, the, the day Calliope was born, uh, I lost count. I couldn't even keep up. I had never seen a Twitter outpouring of support like that for anything I'd ever seen before. And it was utterly precious, and it meant the world to me. So thank you to everyone who gave well wishes for Calliope's birth. And, of course, you know, I have a feeling that, uh, that you'll get to see her grow up over the next few years. But, uh, but she is a fantastic little kid. We're so Super, super excited. Can I just um, say, this is the cutest baby I have mm -hmm. ever seen. She's like, legitimately... Normally, babies are fugly. <laughs> <laughs> she is not. Like, uh, Here, get, I don't know how get much, all, know how much uh, Go for slack it. I got. Can oh, you yeah, unhook yeah, me little, back there? Little, there you go. Go but like, it. literally, look at this. Look at this face. It's like, look at this. Oh, look at that baby close so up. <laughs> this is like the baby's hosting its own show on MTV in 95. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, it's back, Yo, followed Calliope by Sonic Ooze. Youth. <laughs> yeah. With, with Polly Shore. Dude, yes. uh, anyway. So, she is passed out. Yeah, yeah, no, she's, she's all she does is is sleep and poop, and it's completely rad. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just like my puppy. Yes. There we go. <laughs> yeah. We're basically uh, the same. Uh, okay, so. Well, there we go, Veronica. Now, now you know why we had to lure you out into in, 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 in public so we could <laughs> spring that on you. <laughs> from my seclusion. That's right. Absolutely. Hey, by the way, real uh, quick, awesome. uh, we I should see. we should thank Veronica for joining us. She has a, a, a new show, Factor Fictional, on Revision Three. It's uh, MythBusters for awesome sci-fi and geeky stuff. Is there anything people should know about the show before they check it out? Oh, we're doing one coming up with uh, with Darren from Hack Five about uh, Skyfall and hacking in Skyfall. So that should be a great episode. We've done we've done hoverboards. We've done all sorts of great stuff. So we are always taking suggestions. So just tweet at me and let me know what you want to see on the show. And it's on youtubecom slash techfeed. Right on. Uh, well, if you have time to hang with us, we'd love to have you. But otherwise, if you have to go, uh, we mainly got what we wanted out of you, which was the surprise <laughs> of finding out that your character Daphne will live forever. As uh, she's as not a my character. She's a real person. I don't right. know. You should have just probably I'm asked. Sorry. I, I, mix up the words, gets, yeah. I mix up the words character and correspondent all the no. time. What I meant right. was your correspondent. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my fault. We still have her on retainer, so she, maybe you can get her to be on the show sometime. <laughs> She's kicking around somewhere. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> She's doing something. This is amazing. Oh, all right. Well, look. Uh, we, I'm sure she's really excited about it. I know that. She's thrilled. So uh, <laughs> do, do we have, do we have uh, another sponsor or can we jump right into presents? No, we uh, let's let's get into the presence here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Chat realm has been so awesome. So there, uh, there, there's two. There's a present that me and Brian both have, and then apparently there was a present that was that was meant to get to me, and then by way of confusion, I guess didn't. So uh, uh, we well, let's open up the one that we that we both have. Actually, I don't know where my keys are. Yeah, and it should be said that right here it says, do not open until NSFW uh, Christmas special. Don't worry, this box is full of presents. Not drugs or bombs. So we got we got weapons. Yes, Are you heading out, Bonnie? That's exactly what All I right, got listen, here. everybody, um, throw us a digital round of applause for the lovely and talented Bonnie Brushwood as she heads on out here. Um, and yes, Jessica is totally a whore, Tom Z. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I have to go too. I have to go take care of the puppy. All right. Thank you so much, Veronica. Bye, Veronica. You were fantastic. Merry right, Christmas. Thank right, you guys. Take care. Happy bye, New Veronica. Year. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. See you guys later. All right. Bye. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank You're you really very much, Bonnie. I joined this We're show gonna... if that's anthrax. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> 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 I'm out of here. Face just melts off. <laughs> Is that how anthrax works? All right, how, how are we yeah. opening this? Uh, we're going to do anthrax everything at the same time? <laughs> yeah, totally. They've melted. All right, are you ready, Brad? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, I'm half open here, and I've got, I've got, I, I see guts. 
So I'm ready when you yeah, are. I see nothing, and I see a note. Wait, you got a note? You guys should read the note uh, in synchronous. You guys opened it right, from here. different directions. All there right, we here we go. He I got the note. note. And by the way, it should be pointed out that this was sent to us by the one and only Chinbeard on Twitter, C H I N B E. But this was Bill Duran. Bill Duran. Bill Duran on the morning stream. Yeah. But this was uh, this is a, right, a full ready? chat realm production. They had multiple meetings to figure out what to get you. And, all right, here and we Bill go. Bill Doran was the one who came up with. Uh, uh, oh Got my it? god! What's in the box? Holy crap! It's her pretty little head, dude. This is amazing. It says here, Brian, chat realm asked me to make you guys some diamond club belt buckles for Christmas. I of course told them to shove it. No, I happily ob obliged. So in this box, you will find a super rad belt buckle that I made. I made one for Justin, too, so that he didn't feel left out. The other similar item in the box is a fridge mag magnet for your wife and offering to enjoy. Bill Duran, uh, I cannot wait to even see it. Yeah, Let's and uh, see uh, I say uh, basically the, the same thing, except in this box, you will find yours. Brian got one, too, but yours is the one that I pulled out of the mold, and his is a cheap-ass knockoff. <laughs> Uh, so, so there we go. Play on both sides. Let's Holy open it up, right? Holy crap! Are you kidding me? That's pretty badass right there. Are you freaking kidding me? That may be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know life. how belt buckles work, but as soon as I find out... Dude, <laughs> I know how bu bu belt buckles work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop trowel right now. Take off your pants! Take off your pants and jacket. All right, hold on. We got this. I'm going to pop this off. Yeah, this and you have had that wing belt buckle forever. Oh, no. I'm going to have to thread my belt buckle reverse And here we style. go. Also, the same thing comes yeah. as a, uh, a a fridge magnet. So that's going to go up there forever and ever. I mean, God damn it, chat room. You guys are the absolute best. There's Unfortunately, really I'm going to have to wear my belt buckle reverse because the way it looks right now. Hold on. Take a look at it. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, the way I thread my belt, it goes oh. upside down. But I'll just watch this. Flip it. You, and can work. you have two steps. You need to throw this belt out and buy a new belt, and then it'll work. Sure. That's right. I got, I got, the, uh, I got the, uh, the confused oh, version here. And, and it's also going to be Here we go. A sit tight, one. sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. Wait. It's still oh, upside yeah, down. It's only one thing. Yeah, All right. Well, I will wear it when I can. Otherwise, I'm just going to whip strangers on the street. No, no. Yeah. yeah, no. It works. It's just upside down. No, no, no. But, but if I flip Pull it. Down. Okay. <laughs> Dress up. All right, enough. It works. You'll wear it. All right. Yes, we'll figure it out, and and we will it wear needs it. To go the way. So it's got to go this way. All right. Hold on. Sit tight. I want to wear That's this belt, wear sir. Belt. All right. All right. Open the other present, because I don't have the other present, so I can't get started on that. Okay. Hold on. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll just wrap this around. I won't even thread it through nothing, and I'll just stick this through like this. Dude, it looks freaking epic and great. Yeah. Boom! That's the right. money shot right there. And by money shot, I mean... <laughs> I mean Hold that, too. Bill Duran. Dude, these are freaking red belt buckles. I feel like you and I can fight crime now, finally. We can run out and touch our crotches together and that destroy That was really the, the only thing we were waiting for. Was, was like, <laughs> yeah, listen, you had all the We got powers. everything ready to roll. We, just, we look like assholes here in the middle. All right, we so we also got... Now, allegedly... Allegedly, these were sent to us uh, at the exact same time, but uh, no, they were. Uh, there was a confusion on whether or not I would be doing the Christmas special after Christmas in another state, uh, and so I, I very much am, am grateful for the chat realm to getting it to that place uh, on time. However, it was not the right place, <laughs> so so I will get it as soon as I fly to that place, which I am going. I'm just not there now. And if it's an animal, it'll be dead by the time. Yes. So if it is a go. kitty, you've murdered one. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So I am popping this thing open, and it arrived literally after we started the pre-show. Like uh, we had already done the pre the pre-show, and then we got word that. Uh, like, like literally, the the Do confirmation I number said that it would arrive at uh, four thirty, and we started the show at four. Yes. Uh, well, we tried to start the we show. We tried before. to start the show. Before. Okay, here we go. You ready? You ready to see this, Justin? Hold on, let me. Yeah, go ahead. Switch to the big screen right here. I have no idea what it is, but I know that. Um, Pink what? Pink I'm already stoked. That's it. That's it. So pull out that. AR-15. Hold on. If he's wait, stoked, then it's definitely wait, rolling. He's, he is dragging. It's a lot of. It's a lot. There's a lot of this stuff in there. They want to make sure they didn't get damaged. I don't know what comes next, but I do know that I'm looking at a box that says Converse on it. What? And it lo <laughs> looks like a pair of shoes. Oh, my God. 
All right, I am opening up right now. It's been taped. If this is whoa, 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 they're saying picnic in the chat. Whatever, they're always shouting picnic. They'll get okay, the recorded okay, okay. version. Don't worry about it. Holy cow! No way! <laughs> Holy crap, dude! Okay, first of all, look at this. High tops. Nice. All right, they're Converse All Star. They're, they're Chuck Taylor high tops. And if you look at it, it's got a bunch of names. These are all the names of the fine denizens of chat realm. Here, throw that throw that up there so it can get up That's close and, and you can actually see it. Take a look at that. That's all. We got GTFO. We got Bob McBob, what? Adam 12, Cheeto, Jackie Hearn. Uh, so uh, Echo Proxy and stuff. Now look at the other side. The other side of these high tops. Keep going. Are all of those epic... Posters. Oh my god! Is that amazing? That's awesome as Chad lingers on his own. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh my that god, is this insane. is amazing. I, I will wow. wear these every single day with Those pride. Are sick. Heck yeah. Dude, it looks so freaking my favorite, good. My favorite one is Cheeto. Which one? Where's Who are Cheeto? they from? Who works Look in a sweatshop? at the Converse logo. You can barely see it. It says Cheeto right underneath <laughs> it. Poor That's Cheeto. perfect. Cheeto's face is underneath the Converse logo. That's amazing, dude. Holy crap. And uh, take a look. Uh, oh, wow. There's a, here's the card. It says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it says. <laughs> Have a very lovely nude Christmas. <laughs> Have a very nude Christmas. <laughs> And wow, that's uh, awesome. There's naked versions of, of Butcher Brandt, me, Chad, John Tilton, Tom Why Merritt. Why did you guys do that photo shoot? Why? Well, actually, not that's invited. all Photoshop except for Brandt. No. Brandt, actually, that's like a real photo of him. <laughs> that is not Photoshop. Yeah. I, you got to be kidding me. That's amazing. So the card reads, uh, with all our love, and it has the Diamond Club symbol. Uh Oh my God, that is exceptional. This may be the greatest thing to ever happen in the entire world. Uh, wow, wow, was that amazing, man? Uh, dude, no, just I, I can't, I can't. There's nothing I can say that's like anywhere near uh, as amazing as what Chat Realm is and has been and will always be. They're, you know, the the greatest thing uh, that's ever happened to to all of us. And you know, I'll tell you what, I I, I can't, I don't know. I can't even say anything. Normally, I'm going to just scream curse words because that would be the only thing I could say that would be funny because I can't I'm, think of being funny. I'm, I'm kind so of in the exact same me. boat for crying out loud. It's like I don't even know where to take stuff from here. Should we? Do, do you want to try to shoot the moon and see if we can get a special guest on this episode to wrap things up? You want to know what? Let's just actually let, let's just roll out with, um, with, 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 with the song here. Oh, dude, that's right. We have an exclusive song brought to us by, uh, by of course, Andrew Bancroft. Absolutely, because I know we got, we got Twit's got to get the hell out of here because they got stuff. This is, by the way, big shout out, a huge, massive shout out to everybody here at Twit, uh, including and specifically Jammer B and, and Alex, who stayed. They are, are they, there's a big Twit party there that they're gonna go see The Hobbit, and they are 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 coming up against it just so we can do this show, including our hour pre-show. So you want to know what? Let's just get all the thank yous out of the way. Thank you, of course, to. Uh, Veronica, thank you to Tom. Thank you to Chad for coming all the way out, even though he's with his family there in Austin. Thank you to uh, Snubs, who's looking and, and screaming at us. Thank you to Liz, who's over there and cackling at jokes. Thank you to uh, everybody who uh, put in Bill Durand for these. Uh, thank you to uh, Chat Realm for putting those, those shoes together. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you to uh, Ashley, who's moving out to California. It is really awesome. And thank you, first and foremost, right here, playing an original song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jelly Donut himself, please make a lot of noise Woo! for Andrew Bancroft. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. You guys are awesome. Chat Realm blows me away. You guys are rad. Um, and this is an original little holiday tune that was kind of inspired by NSFW and what I do during the holidays, so. Girl had sex with Santa Claus and left me in the snow. 
And she said he had the biggest package Well, she's a ho, ho, ho And so I'm standing all alone below the mistletoe But who needs Mrs. Wright when you've got Mr. Jose Cuervo? For me there's no old Tannenbaum, it's old Tanqueray I'm getting effed up for the holidays Well, I once loved a Jewish girl till she met a Jewish baller. She said he spun her dreidel. She said he made her holla. So sure, light your menorah. Make love under eight candles. Me, I'm lighting eight fat joints. I'll make love to Jack Daniels. Oh, marijuana Hanukkah. I'll be high all eight days. I'm getting effed up for the holidays. And what the hell is Kwanzaa? My harvest festival for ganja I'm getting effed up for the holidays Dubstep remix well, you know, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, what? Yale Comet and Cupid and Donna and Blitz. Yeah. But do you recall when I drank 20 Schlitz yeah. and took your eggnog and dipped my dick in? Woo. Yeah, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, so I put cocaine on my Christmas gift list. Uh. I'm guessing that my parents will just dismiss this, but I'm high as balls, so I'm optimistic. Um, they told me for rumpa pum pum, but I'm a horny drunk, so that cum part's done. Thought I'd take acid at midnight mass, it'd be fun. I don't have to be dreaming to see visions of sugar plums that found Damn. me on the floor doing snow angels eating Damn. Christmas cookies and Hanukkah bagels. Damn. I'm spinning like a dreidel, 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 but I'll still take you under the table, table, table. The ecstasy at New Year's Eve will wash this all the way. I'm getting effed up for the holiday. Lines on Valentine's, heroin on MLK. I'm getting effed up for the holidays. Horse tranquilize on the 4th of July. Robo tusks on Columbus. I'm getting effed up for the holidays. Woo! Holidays. Hold on, we got time. For, we got time for just one more thing. It's got to be the holiday movie draft. Welcome Let's do this. For the week of December twenty first, twenty twelve, I'm your host Roberto Viegas. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Here comes week twelve. Padre Robert Balasar is in sixth place with the guilt trip. Shut up! Really? We're gonna lag out on ah. friggin' YouTube? Yeah, come on, YouTube. You can't destroy our holiday cheer, or maybe you can, because you're an asshole. Sixth. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going. Everything's fine here. Nothing is frogged. We're all fine here. How are you? This may be the beginning of the end of the one million dollars this week, bringing his total to one hundred ninety six point eight million dollars. Tom Merritt's in fifth place with The Hobbit bringing in one hundred six point five million dollars this week, bringing his total to two hundred forty seven point nine million dollars. Justin Robert Young's in fourth place with two hundred fifty seven point eight million dollars. Scott Johnson's in third place with three hundred twenty seven point five million dollars. Sarah Lane's in second place with three hundred forty nine point six million dollars. And remaining in first. place, place with 426.6 million dollars it's brian brushwood yeah and that is removed up in it for the week of december 21st 2012 dude what do you think justin uh coming down to the wire baby i'll tell you what man and it's gonna take forever it's gonna be like 2000 presidential election all over again because nobody's gonna freaking know for a whole month after the last movie comes out which one's the actual winner oh yeah no it's gonna be i'll tell you what it's all Scott's going to go to sleep singing uh, I Dreamed a Dream. That's, that's what he has to do. He has to triumph. All like right. Style to, well, to thank you to everyone who hung around for our tech disc uh, d uh, discoveries, question, difficulties. Blah, 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 blah. I'll tell you what. Fact or fiction, fact, you should download the recorded version of this episode. Oh, my gosh, yeah. We apologize that the live stream was rough, but, uh, but dude, when you get the recorded version... It's going to be so worth it. And there's no BS on that, sir. In fact, we'll make okay, it available answer. earlier. There's jokes. There we go. Songs Watch out Christmas. Uh, thank you. Get your information out so people can know where, where to go. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Jelly D. My YouTube channel is MC Jelly D. That's enough. MC Brian? Jelly D. 
Dude, uh, you can find me online, Callie Schwood. C A L L I E Schwood is my daughter's Twitter. She's already is tweeting. That, is that legit or is that a fan thing? Uh, that's me. That Last night I got drunk and then I decided it'd be hilarious to start tweeting as my daughter. So I started tweeting about how much I want fat titties in my mouth. And, uh, okay. oh. which is true, because that, that daughter of mine wants fat titties. So you just linked it to your normal feed. Sure, that's, exactly. Sure. It's just normal sense. Uh, Justin R. Young, I love you guys. Happy holidays. Die in a fire, beautiful people. See you next Tuesday. Unless that next Tuesday is this upcoming Tuesday, in which case we won't and see you. Right. And in your heart, we'll see you next See you in a future Tuesday, as we're oh, fond of saying. NSFW. I love Wait a minute. Hold on. Somebody's back. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you God. <laughs> yeah. Hey, What's God, up, G Dog? You know, just impregnating virgins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a bad job. <laughs> nice work if you can get it. Just Hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, we are moving into our, our the end of our pre-show hour. Uh, we are going to do an NSFW special here. It is going to feature, as, as anybody who's watching live now knows, of course, the musical stylings of Andrew Bancroft is going to join us. Uh, we're going to do our annual retelling of a fabled Christmas story. Yes. Uh, we are going to be joined by our friends Tom Merritt, Veronica Belmont. Uh, we're going to open up Christmas presents from Chat Realm. And uh, our old pal, Chad Johnson. Whatever happened to that guy? We all ask. I heard he died. Uh, so did I. I heard he died in a lot of different ways, too. Uh, there were a couple murders, and uh, one of them was actually of shame. Ah, uh, murder. A shame murder? A shame murder. Or a shame suicide. It's a, no, it's sh murder is what, <laughs> uh, yeah, how it's murder. referred to in the police circles. Murder, but, uh, sh murder. We'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of that and many other mysteries. <laughs> Next. Next. Actually, Cut no. to commercial. Yeah. Oh, we don't do that, do And we? go. This is Tech News Today with America's number one news team, Tom Merritt, Sarah Lane, Jason Howell in the newsroom, Sports with Ayaz Akhtar, and Burke McQuinn with Weather. We gotta keep doing stuff. No, we have to keep. We're feeling like uh, <laughs> you're gonna improv like a song. A can just play guitar and you can sing to these fine people. Sure. Uh, well, here's my yeah my my, impro my improvised song. We three kings. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Um. Yeah, we got a whole story this time. We actually wrote like a script for our our nativity story. That's the story we're gonna be telling. So get ready for that. Get ready. It's going to be hilarious. You might want to get all of your re religious friends listening in. They'll be. Go ahead and put it out on the Facebook uh, that, hey, listen, everybody, um, call up your Bible study group. Uh, there's going to be a hilarious devotional here on live.twit.tv. Uh, and also, an original song from you. Yeah, I made up a song. What you might not know is uh, you also do original songs, uh, <laughs> as, you, as you so often just don't perform. You might not know that Andrew Bancroft sings. That'd be one way he sings. Ooh. Apparently, they yeah. can still hear Brian. How would oh, yeah. Brian shut down when if we he... can still see him? There's a question. Suspicious. I think he has two computers. Ah. Oh, okay. How can BB? So his BB, switched BB, computer BB, with the vid blaster. I think he's. How rebooting. can BB be rebooting? There's a, <laughs> there's a tongue twister in there somewhere. Rubber baby, bubby, bubby bunkers. Baby's bunkers. wearing rubbers on the. Baby, no. Baby's wearing rubber bummer. Rubber baby bunkers sounds like a... Rubber baby's wearing rubbers. That almost sounds like, like a burlesque troupe. Rubber baby's baby boobies. bunkers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, how has the apocalypse been for you, Andrew? Uh, so far, so good. I thought we'd be getting reports from Australia or Japan about... Uh, yeah. Fire and brimstone. 
Well, I guess that's not the no kind of apocalypse that No one really got into details like, about, like, how it was going to happen, Yeah, if right? it was going to start at one side of the Earth or the whole Earth was or, just like, gonna... was it going to be an earthquake? Was it going to be a meteor? Locusts. Locusts. I'm waiting for that locust. That's a long downpour. while, though, right? Locusts. Yeah, we, we'd still, we'd live a terrible life for a while. Because it'd be really annoying before it was deadly. Yeah. And the cultures that eat locusts would be like, oh, yeah, jackpot, <laughs> finally. It'd be like donuts falling for the sky Infinite for us. Infinite <laughs> yeah. food. Totally. It'd be, so, it'd did be not stop, for, and they're like, all right. It'd be apocalypse for, like, whites. Yeah. Others. Which, you know. Not so much. It'd be great. The world might be better off, you know, yeah. if you take an unbiased approach. I mean, that would are locusts vegan? Can we get a ruling on that? No. No? No. What if they're sent from hell? We, vegans won't even wear shoes made out of locusts. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> These chairs might be locust leather. Sure. All right. Well, now Tom is apparently somewhere. We can't hear Tom. Uh, Rubber baby bunker bunker, baby bunker. Ah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess we're having a conversation. There's, there's. Anyone? I mean, we're like, we're we're annoying background chatter for <laughs> Brian's so command sure. center. I'm sure. 